Welcome back. If you're just joining us, today's boss lady is none other than CEO KAM, Kenya Association of Manufacturers, a woman who holds the biggest forte in the manufacturing sector while still holding it down at home and academically. Amicably, might I add. To add on to that, she was also recognized among the top Africa economic leaders for tomorrow on the Shizou 100 Africa list 2018 and one of the 2019 most influential people of the African distant global 140. Enough reasons to sit down and get some wisdom nuggets and know the woman behind the name. My biggest dream is for Africa to be a continent that provides opportunities for its people and maximizes the resources that exist. Because that dream is a dream that will see our children and our future generations benefit and live a better life. So for me, it's a better life for the continent, a better life for our people. What's your greatest fear? My greatest fear is very weird, rats. Wow. <laughs> Like seriously. With everything that you've gone through. Is Panya. Panya. Are you serious? Yes. How? And yes. why? That's my greatest fear. I'm just paranoid about rats. Just that. Just rats. Yeah, just that. Not like <laughs> No, no, snakes. not even snakes. Yeah. What I just find them com completely creepy. Yeah. They're yeah. creepy. <laughs> they are creepy. Snakes are creepy about yes. Why are you a bookworm when you were young? I always was there a kids who loved studying. Do you feel like, is, is, is there anything? <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's always two groups of people in school. Yes. Eh? Uh, wale, when I find out party, Smart. kelele, uh -huh. and then there are those ones who yes, used to study. For me, I'm a very balanced person. I'm a mix of both worlds. I'm I'm, 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 I'm smart and I study, but I was in drama club, I was in music, I was in everything. So I'm a very balanced person. I'm not the bookworm who only reads. I'm the person who reads, but still participates in extracurricular activities. So I believe in living a very balanced and interesting life. You're blessed. I think so, and I thank God for that. You are truly, yes. truly, <laughs> truly blessed. Not only women, but also men out there, especially these young ones. Eh? Generation, I don't know what they call them, X, Y, Z, whatever. Oh, yeah? All these generations. Yeah, uh -huh. and probably some of us are part of that generation, where we feel like we deserve. We want to get a high pay and I mean you can't even blame us, the economy is not doing us right anyway. Yeah. So you want to finish university, you want to start earning big with immediate effect. But if you look at your success or you, as you continue with your success story, you went through a lot of study and you went through a lot of um, hard work, you went through a lot of uh, patience if I must say. and. Um, we don't want to go through that so what is it that you would want to tell us that you feel like uh, for me one of the things that sticks out or has been a guiding quote for me is john f kennedy saying ask not what your country can do for you but what you can do for your country and it cuts across all spheres in life a lot of the time we are quick to ask what others can do for us. We are quick to ask of others, whether it's our parents, our schools, our societies, but we're not willing to put in the work or to put in our own contribution towards society. So for me, it's really for the young people. What can you do at a personal level where you are? Bring your A-game. And once you do, all the other things will, will, will they'll work and you would have done your part also. So I really encourage us to constantly challenge ourselves. What can we do for society? What can we do for the community? And uh, when you do that, I think God also rewards our good deeds. And uh, you give your best and the best comes back to you. Enough of the woman. Let's get down to business. I wonder how she managed to climb up the ladder in the male-dominated sector. Um, I think growing in the corporate world or the circles comes with a lot of uh, concerted effort. So it's not an individual effort. First of all, it comes with having great mentors and people who believe in you. And uh, as, as uh, the head of policy research and advocacy, I did work with uh, CS Betty Miner. And she was the kind of leader who believes in her team and really works with you and grows you. So having such people has really gotten me to where I am. So even in KQ, I had a really good manager, Anthony Mwangi. I had Julie Gishuru. I mean, Julie 
Mandu also as my manager at some point. And all these leaders, the mentorship, the room they give you to grow does make a difference. Um, it also comes from the deliberate commitment <laughs> of institutions to grow and develop women. So the Kenya Association of Manufacturers Board is also one of the great uh, institutions or governance platforms that has really helped uh, develop and grow women in this sphere. So our previous CEO was also a woman and so am I. And the board is very supportive in, in, in ensuring that that happens. So continuously creating mentorship opportunities for women and giving them an opportunity to fill leadership roles can get us to where we want to be in terms of leadership. The manufacturing sector continues to be a priority for the country and uh, Vision 2030 does have manufacturing at the center of its priorities. For 2020, uh, the manufacturing sector is approaching the year with cautious op optimism. Um, there's a lot of opportunities for growth, but there are also challenges within the economy. There is low liquidity at the moment, so delayed payments from government to suppliers, and this is really slowing down the ability of the sector to grow. The competitiveness issue continues to become an issue and remain an issue in 2020, where we are saying that as a country we need to address competitiveness and deal with the challenges that are creating a gap between Kenya's competitiveness and global competitiveness. We've calculated this to be about 13% difference in terms of cost of competitiveness. So we are keen to address the issues uh, of dealing with competitiveness and the regulatory burden that is currently within the country. With all the responsibility that comes with being a CEO and a one-year-old toddler, I wonder how does she balance it? But imagine it's just time management. I think we waste a lot of time really? as people here yeah, sometimes. Mm. The discipline of managing time, you know, we do a lot of idling sometimes. That's very true. Mm. So that discipline of just, t -t 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 -t. me, my life is so... T -t 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 -t. You don't waste time. Mm -mm. You'll find you me just sitting with idling, talking to you. <laughs> I don't do those things. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, so what advice does she give someone interested in joining the manufacturing sector? Uh, the advice I would give to anyone who's keen to be a manufacturer is that the manufacturing sector is the way to go for us to be able to create the manufacturers to grow and scale up their businesses and even start up manufacturing enterprises. So I would encourage anyone interested in becoming a manufacturer to get in touch with us at uh, km.co.ke we have a lot of information about the sector we are located in westlands in on Mwanzi road opposite uh, westgate mall and we are ready to support anyone who is interested in joining the manufacturing fraternity quite a lead on to the boss lady quote of the day leadership is all about making others better as a result of your presence and making sure that impact lasts in your absence this quote is by shawil sunberg the coo of facebook so different boss lady um, interviews just teach me different things. I've learned about it's okay to hit rock bottom, you'll always pick up. I've learned about um, it's important to have uh, great support. But today, Phyllis Fakiaga has taught me one thing. It's important to learn how to manage your time. There's nothing in this world as important as your time management. This beautiful woman has four kids and has um, numerous certificates and she's about to get her PhD before the, uh, the end of 2020. In fact, what I was telling her is that we want to see evidence. I want to see pictures of the kids, I want to see the family, I want to see the certificates because it's impossible for someone who's not even hit 40 to have uh, this much success. But it is possible if you actually manage your time. So that's what we're going to learn from the boss lady today. I hope that's what you've learned. My name is Nina Shaban. Thank you so much for keeping it Metropole TV. See you next time.